what's up guys what's up guys hope you guys are enjoying the content so far so right here just want to let you know right here at this particular moment right before he started loading talents onto the trailer i did ask him if all product that was being uh, brought out was all the same the gentleman on the forklift did not understood my question I had a friend and buddy of mine on the headphones and he heard my question and we all just both understood what i was trying to say it was all the same thing because i was trying to balance the weight so at the end of the day what ended up happening and i'm not sure if you'll see it on this video but those three pallets in the front and this one on top of the one behind it they ended up all the way to the back so i had to unsecure those chains that i'm putting on right now and then uh, those pallets at the back even me sliding the fifth wheel it was way too heavy on the front so double check always your weight i said it before double check with the loader if you're not sure um but in this case the gentleman didn't understand why i was asking the question so i try to word it a couple different ways but just wanted to show you that tip because uh did have to move those pallets back uh before i left because i was following my gauge and it was way over thirty-four thousand pounds on the drive so no note on that Good morning. <sighs> good morning, good morning, guys. We are in uh greensboro georgia got here last night after we took that load i'll show you what the load is on that military base again in camel of june and a little bit of upsetting news to update you on the way but uh let's do our picture because we got about 10 minutes we got to go and hit the road and try to get there and try to get things done today check uh, we can put a little more but i'm good early use it we did the PM last week, last Friday, so we are pretty good. Oil's good. Yep. We're in good shape. Everything's been greased, taken care of. So, and just in good shape. Just like to double check, make sure fluids are good. That's a lazy way. <laughs> Just push it with the shoulder. Um, ooh, truck washers are already dirty, I tell you. <laughs> we wash our trucks so they, they look good. But they don't last long. So let's check our tires. A little handy tire check stick. And uh, oh, let me turn on. So it warms up. Oh, what the heck is it? It's plastic. Let's we'll start warming up. It's always good to warm up your engine in cool weather. It's not that cold, it's about 40 degrees here, so. lights I already check lights always check your tire doing your pit trip one thing that I like to do is get in between I see a little rip right there but let's get on to here every couple days not every day take a look under listen check your tank your lines make sure that you have no leaks you don't see anything ripped 
especially air, air leaks. Main concern is air leaks. Don't want no air leaks. Um, you know, sometimes things things can be on the road and uh, hit your lines and you're not sure. So, show you what we got. Tracks. So, we got a lot of scrap tracks. Now we had an issue, not an issue, but we do have a possible issue. Let me back up a little bit. We're about, I don't have an exact weight, but we're about 34,000 pounds, 35,000 pounds, according to the paperwork. Um, we had these loads for these. He put them up front and I had to slide my fifth wheel all the way to the back to try to see if I can take some weight up the drive. Um, but even sliding all the way back, I couldn't take that weight off. So I had to ask him to put four of them. There was one on top of this one and three more in the front. To put those four on the back because it was too heavy on my drives. And that was because I asked him if we had uh, all the same material when, before, right before we started. And he was talking up about lot, lots and didn't give me a straight answer. So I would let him pull it off. I thought it was two different type of things. And when he finally told, we got towards the end, I said, okay, halfway, it's like, is this all the same thing? He's like, yeah, it's all the same thing. I knew we were gonna have to move shit to the back because I would have had it, had him start kind of where he, you know, what that is about the landing gear. Where is that? If I would have known that that was the case, he would have answered my question. Um, but, so it took about an extra 30 minutes to get everything done. Um, so we'll get to our destinations around 10.30. And then I gotta tell you a little story of what may happen today that I'm hoping that it doesn't, what we get on the way. But uh, I was thinking of sliding the fifth wheel back. This is, it rides a little funny when it's way all the way back there, a little different, but anyway, we're gonna keep going because we gotta get out of here. I ain't got time for that. I'll slide it when I'm empty, so. I'm gonna get some breakfast real quick if I got time. Breakfast might be a yogurt or a waffle <laughs> in the microwave. Um, but I wanna get on on time because I wanna try to get there as soon as possible and uh, deal with what I'm about to tell you. All right, guys, we're about ready to leave here, but let it warm up just a couple more minutes. Delay me a little more, so I'm not, actually I need to, we need to get going, we need to get going. I'll be all right. Um, so we did this load last week, uh, similar load or same location. And uh, the load is normally set up from the military base um, to get there, I'm sorry, to get there. You pick up one day, you deliver two days, the morning two days later. So not the next day. Uh, that's how it normally set up. But I got there, we got there the last week. We got there a day later because they told us we could deliver a day or, you know, about as long as we got there before 12. They told us, nah, that's, nobody called, nobody said anything. I, um, but they still got us on Lotus, thank God. I bugged the wheat. I got another load because I was looking at a Birmingham reload that was paying, was paying real well. Um, unfortunately, those didn't get released after following up, following up. The customer has not released it. They, we have the contract as far as Tennessee has a contract, but they haven't started shipping them out. Unfortunately, still, they're about two weeks behind. So we got a different reload. But I had this load rescheduled again, going back to the same spot because we went back to Rally, so I picked up Kaplan June, go back to Birmingham in case that those loads came available. It did it. Well, I bugged and bugged to tell them to make sure that I have the okay that was confirmed that I was gonna deliver this the next day, not two days later. This time, I wanna make sure the customer knew. I got there, uh, we picked up, we loaded, and uh, they told me that uh, I called the customer and they told me that, no, it was still set up for tomorrow. Which well, tomorrow is Thursday, today is Wednesday. I told him the information. He said, sorry that, that the original broker, I guess this was a brokerage firm, not Tennessee. Uh, the original broker with this loads is famous for doing this. They tell you, yes, you can get there earlier because they don't want 
us to say to say no to the load and then we drivers have to deal with maybe not getting unloaded today so that's the issue we may not get unloaded today and that's going to be a problem so let's get over there and see what's going to happen gentleman taking some scrap out of his truck <clears throat> now he's gonna feel it's okay my man take your time so I can't just sharpen around you I'm not gonna even try so we're here boys like we just went to the scale there's a gentleman uh, throwing some scrap out of his pickup truck and my turning radius so I can't turn to completely get out of here but um, gentleman told me just come scale in and he'll let it all I'm here and uh, go from there so we'll hopefully get on unloaded because we need to get unloaded and get to our next pickup and keep it rolling without any issues but we'll see they're unloaded probably they're, they were just finishing unloaded probably that what their last scheduled truck for the day was so I may have got here just in time for them to be okay with it We'll see here in a couple of minutes. Here comes a gentleman, so let's see what he tells us. He's gonna recognize me from last week. Give me some shit, sure. I'm back. Early. Well, you've been here before. I was here last week. Yeah, you was there early then, too. Yeah, and I called them when I rescheduled because I remember we spoke. Right. I called my office, bugged them for two days because I was there Friday getting my PM though, too. Hey, please confirm that I can get this load on Wednesday before you know we fully book and all that stuff. 
They told me, yeah, they gave me the go ahead. I called yesterday to give you guys a heads up. Your boss probably, you give you guys a heads up. Hey, I'm gonna be up. Uh, 2203? No, 256. Oh, sorry, I'm reading the BL number on top. CW Cooler? Yeah, I called that number yesterday and afternoon. He said, come? he said come, but it's up to you guys, like it we happened last week. But I told him what happened because I did my due diligence to bug and bug and bug, and apparently they lied to me. So I called my office yesterday and told him, hey, this is what happened. And uh I know I'm up to your mercy. Believe me, I'm not picking one of these again <laughs> up again because apparently the, the broker who handles it is 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 lying to our office too. So I'll probably oh yeah. Huh? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, apparently. I didn't know that, who who handles he, it, to your boss told me. He'll say, I'll go ahead and show up anyway. They'll offload you, and if we're full, we can't. Right, right, and I totally get it. It's not you guys' fault. I just, I, I didn't know that part. I did my due diligence trying to think if my office was the one in control, and uh, no. No. <laughs> so, I apologize. Chase is the one in control, but yeah. he'll let you know if he can accept it or not. Guys, taking his time. I thought he was gonna go ahead and back up, so I just got him out. No problem. We'll go ahead and get your road up and see what he says. I appreciate. Believe me, it's not gonna happen again with me because I'm not. I'm not gonna play this game. But I will appreciate it for the last time if you guys do me a favor. You guys heard that? Sometimes you just got playing nice anyway. But this time is. Not my fault. I'm not just playing nice. I am literally doing my due diligence to try to get confirmation of delivery today and not tomorrow. So that upsets me even more if I don't get unloaded today. So hopefully he uh, gives me the go ahead. The truck's backing out because you got to drive in forward where you guys saw <clears throat> get unloaded and then you gotta back all the way back, go through the scale empty again so they can get the, the actual weight of what you have on your truck, so metal and all that. So I'm sure you guys know that, but if you're, you're a rookie for the rookie channel, you have to be aware of those things. Sometimes you gotta do things twice when it comes to scale houses. You do that with hay, you do that, excuse me, I've done that with hay, you do that with metal, you do that, oh my God. Uh, if you're doing uh, lumber, lumber loads, definitely do that. Uh, some coil metal loads, they definitely do that as well. It depends where you go and where you're delivering to. So you got to scale in, scale out. Uh, roofing material, which is what we're picking up next. It's, it's uh, roofing material, and that's where it, the shingles we're supposed to pick up. So you scale in, you scale out as well. So I'm sure he's going to call me here shortly to kind of figure out where I'm at. But we're gonna wait here a couple of minutes for you if, uh, if you get some footage of me getting unloaded. Miss, we did. If you get some footage of my face, next, and we did it. <laughs>